Good choice. Impressive fight, boy. I guess I owe you one. Admiral Smith would have been proud of you. Yeah, I'm sure he would. He still owes me money for the last assignment. I was just on my way to see him before you found me. Hmm. Good luck trying to get money from a dead man. Dead? Yes, dead. Died of old age. Everyone's number comes up eventually. What? When did he die? Some years ago now. 3612, I think. 3612? That can't be. What year is it now? You're a strange one, all right. It's 3624 by the Terran calendar, and from the looks of things, it's going to be the Year of the Voids. Heath is stunned to discover 35 years have passed since the incident in the asteroid belt. Gunant checked Keith's ship, and a malfunction in the hyperdrive engine was most likely the cause for Keith's journey through time and space. He shows Keith his gratitude for defeating the pirates by giving him Betty as a gift. Now equipped with a more powerful drive, allowing him to travel to other planets within the same star system. As promised, Betty is yours. Take good care of her. Well, she needs a bit of work, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks for your help. Just one thing. The mining laser you've been using is a prototype I built myself. The only one of its kind. I can't give it to you, but I installed another one. With a little practice, you'll be able to make a few credits mining asteroids on your journey. Thanks, and you can call me Keith. Keith T. Maxwell. My pleasure, Keith. One more thing. A friend of mine, Norris Bernard, is the commander of Kernstal, also a station of the Medo Confederation. Why don't you pay him a visit? He might be able to help you get to Eden Prime. That's a good place to start. Thanks, Gunant. But what is this Medo Confederation exactly? This entire system is Medo territory. Perhaps you'd better ask Norris. He can tell you more about it. Good luck, boy. Uh, I mean, Keith. <laughs> 